when it comes to consistency, one of the most important things in tennis is watching the ball all the way onto your strings and keeping your head still through contact. Now, I know that we see amazing players like Andy Murray and Dominic Team and even Djokovic crushing forehands while they're looking in the wrong direction, but that isn't what you want to copy. You want to model Federer and Medvedev, and now we've got Alcaraz showing us how to do it. Keep your head as still as you can through contact. But the chances are, you already knew that. You're not watching this video because you didn't know how important it is. You know that it's essential to keep your head still on contact. The reason you're watching this video is because you're having problems doing it. So that is what I'm gonna help you with. The first thing you need to do is actually focus on it. Now, potentially there's a lot of different things that you're working on at the moment when it comes to your game, but you can only focus on so many things at a time. So you need to focus on keeping your head still. And the simple way to do this is ask yourself after every shot, did I keep my head still? So when you're doing your warm up, you're trying to keep your head still. If you miss a shot, ask yourself that question. When you go to the back of the court and you start doing your drills, ask yourself, did I keep my head still? Still, if you didn't, double down, refocus on it. Same thing when you're playing your points and playing your matches. The next piece of the puzzle is gonna be your footwork because one of the most common reasons that people lift their head on contact is because they're too close to the ball. If I set up too close to the ball, it's really tricky for me to keep my head still. Instead, I'm gonna have a tendency to want to pull off my shot and because of that, I'm gonna lift my head. So making sure that you've got good quality footwork, using small adjustment steps, making sure that I'm the right space from the ball is really gonna help me to be able to hit through the ball, keeping my head down on contact. And after that, we've got timing and meeting the ball out in front. If you hit the ball late, so the ball is a little bit too far that way as I'm trying to hit my forehand, it is really difficult for me to keep my head still there. Instead, again, that's gonna encourage me to lift my head on contact. So fixing issues with your timing and making sure that you're contacting the ball out in front is gonna be an essential piece of your ability to keep your head still through contact so you can be more consistent. Unfortunately, even if you get all that stuff right, you might still not be able to keep your head still on contact. So what I wanna do is explain why that is and show you a drill that you can work on to start to change it because there are specific visual and coordination skills that are involved in being able to do it. If your body's not capable of doing it, it doesn't matter how much you concentrate or try, it's not gonna happen. This comes down to the communication between the eyes, our movement systems, kind of the proprioceptors that detect where your body is and where your head is, but also, um, really importantly, the balance system, the vestibular system that lives in your inner ear. All these three systems have to work together in order for you to track the ball and keep your head still in contact. If they're not communicating well enough, you won't be able to do it, which is why I wanna show you a training drill to help you solve that problem. The visual skill we're gonna be training is called the VORC. Really simple drill to do, just get some kind of thing with visual targets. So I've just got a stick with letters and numbers on it. I'm gonna be focusing on one of the letters. Then from there, I'm gonna hold it out in front of me and I'm gonna try and move my arm and turn my head at the same speed, keeping my eyes looking at that letter to help train your system to be able to turn your head, tracking the ball, as it goes. So I'm just turning my head out to the right and back to the middle, kind of imagining that my nose is attached to this letter so that as my arm goes, my head goes with it. Obviously, it's gonna be a good idea to practice this in multiple different directions. So left, right, up, down, the different diagonals to help with your forehand, to help with your backhand, to help with high balls, to help with low balls. Over time, you wanna progress it so that you can do faster and faster movements, looking at smaller visual targets, keeping them clear. But this isn't just the only stuff that you can do with vision training. There's a lot more. If you want to learn about it and how you can improve your game with vision training, you want to check out this video.